Have you been wondering how to kickstart your personal styling career? Having worked in the styling industry for over 15 years, I know exactly how to get you started as a personal stylist. For tips and advice about the styling industry, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell to get notified when I post a new video, which is every Monday. Working as a stylist is the most creative and fulfilling careers. And then in the end of this video, you will understand and have the strategy and clear idea how to become a personal stylist, even if you live in a small city. Hi, my name is Basha Richard and I help aspiring stylists enter the styling industry. If you want to learn what are the steps to kick off your styling career, keep on watching. Tip number one, educate yourself. Now, as a personal stylist, you will be advising your clients on what to wear and what looks fit them best. Now, in order to serve your clients the best, you want to know everything about body shapes, colors, fits, and fabrics. Now, the best way to educate yourself is to grab a few books. I'm gonna show you my favorite book. So, first of the, the book I wanna show you is called Your Fashion Guide Based on the Body Shape and Space of the Way. So, this book is really gonna talk about different type of body shapes. It's a really great resource. I'm gonna show you like, you see, great, very straightforward pictures, gonna to explain to you all different um, type of body shapes, but this book also going to learn, you're gonna learn from this book how to properly measure your client, which is actually really helpful. Now, the second book is called The Pocket Stylist, and this book really gonna walk you through this whole process of working with your client. So starting with, you're gonna still learn about body shapes, but then you're gonna learn about like all different type of looks, um, show me your closet, how to rate closet, how to shop properly, um, working with your tailor, same stress. So this is a great resource book, um, a lot of great tips and advices. So I would grab those two books and I'm gonna link it in the description below. Now, when you have all the knowledge, it is a good idea to practice on your friends and family. Now, do a small makeover for your mom, dad, friend, sister, whoever will be available. You want to put all your knowledge into practice now. The more you do it, the more you will feel comfortable and it will you are going to be ready for your clients now by practicing you will gain all the confidence you need that confidence and um, before you're going to start working with your real clients now the best way is to implementing everything you will learn from all those books that i just showed you a second ago so you want to start with practicing doing like consultation so even though you're going to do a consultation with your mom or your friend now the idea is to practice as much as you can so when you start working with your real clients it is sort of like a breeze so you won't feel like you have never done it before tip number two create your services now the best way to go about it is to do a simple research and see what other stylists in your area are offering as far as their services. so simple process and you want to just go online and do a research so let's just go onto my computer and let's just do it together okay because i'm based in los angeles i want to research personal stylist in different cities, just for the sake of this exercise, just to show you how to do this research. So let's say we're gonna go to Seattle, Seattle, personal stylist, and let's see some of those results. So Yelp is first, let's go to this one. So what you want to do is to go to women's services and see exactly what other personal stylists are offering. Like there are tons of packages here. So you really want to like go through all this and see um, what all those packages include, right? Like what type of services um, and see like exactly what um what are the prices for each and every one okay so you want to do as many as you can okay so let's go to this one um same thing okay here we go services styling services the same thing you want to go and see what this particular stylist has to offer there's a you know styles 360 package for 1950 you want to really read and see what this package includes so based on your research different stylists in your area you want to create your own services if you want to create packages great if you want to create um uh, services and charge hourly rate that's great as well so the more you're going to do research the easier it's going to be for you to really understand 
um, how to create your services. Now, you do not want to copy anyone. You do not want to, um, you know, take uh, literally the package from some other stylist and, and, and create something literally the same. This is just an exercise for you to just understand and see what other stylists are offering. So now you know how to do the research, you should do a research in your own area and based on that, create your own services. Now, obviously you don't wanna copy anyone, just gives you an idea exactly what other stylists are offering, what other stylists, um, what type of services they have. Now, certain stylists are going to be charging their clients per package. So package can be, let's say like a closet detox and let's say shopping for a new wardrobe, but they can also charge their client per hour. It all depends. This is something that you can uh, just decide on your own. Like you want to study those services and come up with the best offer that's going to fit your business and your ideal client. Tip number three, get your name out there now. If people don't know about you, they can't hire you, right? Period. Now, start with social media. Create either like videos with tips or blog posts and give your audience free value. So do a quick tips on body shapes, maybe like on trends or like how to style floral blouses, like the keys to give as much value as you can. Now you should post it on Facebook fan page, on your Instagram, exactly where you have an audience. Now don't be shy. Now think that people will find you. They want, you have to put yourself out there like to attract your clients. Now there's no other way. By creating great value and content, but giving tips and advices, you will warm up your audience and position yourself as an expert. So your potential client will know exactly who you are, what you do, and will already know about you well enough to hire you. Tip number four, networking. Now that you have your offer and ready to start creating looks for your clients, networking will be part of getting new clients in Adorno. The best way is to get your clients for a word of mouth. So if you could be referred to your new potential client for like family or friends, that's probably the easiest way to land your clients. Now, aside from the referral, attending parties and like networking with people is a part of getting yourself out there and meeting new people who can potentially become your client. So the one thing when you go to those networking parties and um, make sure that number one, you don't sell yourself like right away. You go there to meet people, to socialize, create relationship, and that's your goal. Okay, so now find something you guys might have like in common, just make friends. There is um, one thing you don't want to go with like this attitude, hire me it will be just so uncomfortable um, just to think about it like for you and the people you're gonna meet so you want to network and don't put any pressure on yourself now and uh, number two thing always follow up and stay in touch like the last thing you should do is like ignore them like you just meet new people who can become your um, clients maybe one day and you're ignoring them always follow up Tip number five, get a mentor now. This is what I did before I entered the styling industry. I had all the qualifications in order to style. So I knew all about like body types, colors, designers, what no, but I had no idea um, anything about the styling industry. So by working with a mentor who showed me all the ropes and how to understanding the industry and what steps to take and how to get in and actually start working. So without my mentor, I would probably be still in the same position trying to figure out everything on my nose. She also helped me like to stay focused and really directed me what to do next and I wouldn't be making any mistakes as far as like what should I, should be my next step and what should I not do. So this was like the best experience I had because not only I was guided by a senior stylist but I knew exactly what I was supposed to do. So now if you need um, mentorship, if you need help, um, I help aspiring stylists enter the styling industry, all you have to do is schedule a call with me so I can let you know how I can help you enter the styling industry. You're gonna find a link in the description below. Now that you have all my strategies and tips in order to become a personal stylist, make sure to grab my free resource guide with over 140 
fashion terminology, stylist lingo, blogs, magazines, and many other resources you should be familiar with. Also, if you want to join my aspiring stylist community, I have an amazing community. I'm gonna link those two things under this uh, video in the description below. Now, comment below, let me know um, which tip is your favorite, now don't forget to subscribe hit the bell to get notified i post new videos every monday thanks so much for watching and i will see you next week